all the lovers that have gone before they don't compare to you don't be frightened just give me a little bit more they don't compare all the lovers hey you guys welcome to my channel yes today's look it's going to be me dressing up in one one of my showgirl looks for a small event yes this is not a big event so I'm just wearing a nice dress that's quite stand out ish with the stripes and the bling bling has to be there too to complement right because you're on stage you're hosting you gotta look fabulous and I'm gonna open the song I'm gonna open with that one all the lovers by Kylie Minogue she's one of my most favorite Australian artists ever and I have my feather bowers with me Ta -da! So before we start, I just want to ask you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. And if you like my videos, I hope you can share it with everyone else. I'm also going to give you tips about being a showgirl, costuming, and when to show yourself out there. Come on. That's common sense, but some people just don't. Especially these new girls, you know, these new young ones, they won't listen to you. But here's my little tip for you. If you want to find out, Keep watching. Thank you. I started with one coat of foundation first to do this look. So now I'm gonna go the second layer because going on stage, I'm going to be um, hosting this event for about three to four hours and I will be on stage the entire time. Maybe have a little five minute bathroom break. Other than that, I'm gonna be on stage, right? So the makeup has to be completely flawless and compact you know so I want to make sure that I look good at the end of that four hours you know I want to be able to come home and still look as good as when I left my house you know I always try to aim for that so here I am putting the second layer I'm gonna not put so much on my head because I'm gonna wear my wig. Yeah, I am not ready to go on stage bald yet for this event. If I've done so many different looks, wearing different type of wigs, you know, one time I'm going to wear um, the normal little uh, bob cut that I have, another I wanna wear a long one, and then this time round, I'm going to wear the little afro, little Jennifer Lopez play afro from that video something like that so after done if I've done this gig a few more times at this particular venue then one time I might just go bald you know and and shock everyone you know at that venue you know it'll be so much fun right it's all about the surprise element when it comes to being an entertainer you know I do not like to wear my costume and then go out into the public into the venue and wander around and say hi to friends you know even if it's a small gig or a big event doesn't matter you're an entertainer and I'm old school once you get dressed into your costume stay where you are and shut up to stay there don't come out you know or else you will lose that surprise element the wow factor of seeing it for the first time <gasps> wow you look amazing you lose that you know, when, when you're already out mingling about, and then when somebody announces you, it's your turn to go on stage to do your spot. And when you go up there, oh yeah, she was just here with us talking. So it's not like somebody would... You want that first attention. So once you dress up, once you have your look ready, hide. Stay backstage. Or wherever the changing room is, 
stay there. That's my tip, you know, for all these up and coming young performers, right? They just get all dressed up and then eagerly go out and mingle and and get all prancy and prance about and annoy the hell out of me. Seriously. They do not have the old school showgirl mindset, you know? You gotta be give them a bit of a mystery, a bit of a class, a bit of a, you know, wow, she didn't come out at all even before the show. You know, I arrive, I would look for the person in charge, the organizer, and then if there are some people there that recognize me, I'll say, hello, hello, hi, I'm just going to go backstage to get ready, so I'll be up for the show. I'll see you guys later, okay? Like that, just be polite, be nice, and then they guide me to the backstage, and I just stay there. And then when they announce me, that's when I pop up on stage. Ta-da! Fabulous. Yes, girl. That's how you do it, you know? And then after that performance, then you can come out to the audience and mingle. People want to take photos with you in your costume. You know what I mean? That's how you're supposed to do it. Not get dressed and straight away come out and mingle. Oh, hi, I'm here. I'm going to be doing the number. Like, see, this is my outfit. Look, that look fabulous, right? Oh my God, look. No, that's just... I don't know. That's just so... So amateur, so childish, so unprofessional. You want people to take you serious as a performer, as an entertainer? Then behave properly. Hello? You know, they don't. They don't listen. So I don't know what else to say. I've warned them a few times. They just won't listen. So I give up. There's so much you can impart your your expertise in your experience you know to these young queens you know but they just won't listen to you so i give up i can't be bothered so i am going to do things the way i know how and i'm just going to continue with what i grew up learning from the old school girls you know you don't come out you don't show everyone your outfit or if you want to, let's just say, for example, I'm wearing a fabulous looking wig with a headdress, right? And the costume is not with something sticking out or whatever. It's just like a nice hot dress with diamond tees, something like that. So basically, you can come out wearing a big robe, a big black robe or any colored robe. Just a big robe and just cover. And don't wear that hair. Maybe wear a hat or something. Just to come out to mingle, to say hello, to acknowledge the people that come to see you. That's fine. They still don't get to see your outfit, right? And then five minutes before showtime, the, the organizer will say, Oh, darling, you're going to be up in five minutes. Okay. Then I said, I'll excuse myself from everybody. And then I'll go backstage, change. And then I'll come up on stage looking fabulous. And people will, will be like, wow, you know. People, my normal muggle friends, right? They're my straight friends that don't know anything about this. They would find out, wow, from that to that to them, when I was wearing the black and with a hat, with no lipstick, you know, to by my big hair, my big costume with a lipstick, and that, like, wow, you changed so drastic. To me, it's nothing, but to them, it's something special. You know, that's how you do it. You young queens, listen. You know, I'm not trying to tell you how to be a showgirl. No, I'm just giving you a tip. And my tip will make you feel freaking special. Yes, when you come out looking absolutely amazing and they have never seen you before that, never seen that outfit. And the moment you come out on stage wearing your brand, out, out, brand new outfit and they just got shocked at the amazingness for the first time looking at you like that, they're going to, wow, you look amazing. That is is what that is how you should feel when you go up on stage not oh yeah because she just was with us hanging around here so they just continue with their beer and keep talking away oh she finished okay let's clap okay who's next yeah and then they see somebody they don't know like me go, oh oh wow oh hi darling wow darling looks great look i see that i see that a few of the shows that i did that was what happened you know so that's a nice feeling you know i'm trying to i'm trying to share with you young queens that's what you should do to get that attention you know well <laughs> i'm just speaking my mind letting them know 
that if they watch this video, I hope they will take that away as a lesson, as a tip, you know? My tip is actually to make you feel extra special. My tip that I just gave you is to actually give you the more wow factor. You know, you want to go on stage, you want to dazzle people, right? You want to perform, you want to entertain, you want to be, you want to wow the crowd. So the first thing you should do is wow with your appearance. I'm here. Bang. Wow. Yes, girl. Do you know what I mean? And then you entertain. You mime, you sing, you do whatever act you're doing. You know, the first impression is, wow, look at her outfit. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. And everybody will just pay attention to you. That's what you want. You know? So, yeah. <laughs> so listen, okay, you people. You better. Even anyone. It applies to anyone. You wear a costume. You go to a party. When you walk out of the house, cover it. Once you are at the party, still cover it, right? And then once you arrive inside, once you are inside, you park your car, you get into the event, and then you disrobe in front of everyone. Ooh, look at your outfit. You look amazing, girl. You know, that's how you do it. That's how you milk the audience. You have a bit of class. You have a bit of wow factor. You know? Yeah, you got to think like that. You got to milk the public. You got to milk everyone around you. You know, make them go wow at you. You feel good too, right? So I'm imparting that to you showgirls out there. To f look good, to feel good, it's all about the wow factor. Be right back, I'm going to put my eyes in. Eyes are in. I love my contacts. And then I'm going to put a little bit more lighter powder around the eyes. can't really see it in the video, isn't it? But yeah, in real life, it's a little bit whiter. Not whiter, lighter. Sorry, yes, lighter. Yeah. I'm going to put it here. A little bit here. Give it that diamond. Yeah, just a little bit of hint of it, you know, when you take photos, you can always see that. And next up, I'm going to do is my brows. I'm going to do light, I'm going to do brown. So, here we go. Today my brows is not super thick. I, I make it a little bit thin. Yeah. See, that's the good thing about having no brows. See, my brows is so little. That's it. And these are all just the old embroidery that I used to have. So today I want to make them really, really 
not super thin, but yeah, much thinner than how I used to do it. And it's a little bit lighter too. Next up, I'm going to start with my eye shadows. I'm going to go with just black for the whole eyes, right? But before that, I'm going to just put a soft color to the whole of my lid. So I might go for these browns. This is from Hey Cheeks from Essence. They're so cute. I like these colors. I've tried them and they look great. So I might go with that one. Very cocoa-ish. and go choo choo. Right, now we're gonna go to the black. Do you guys like wearing black? I like wearing black eyeshadows. What's, a, what's my favorite color eyeshadow that I like using? I, my favorite eyeshadow color of all time is that bluish, grayish, this metallic color, you know? When I wear my other contacts, which is way more obvious than this, when I wear that, it just looks so good with that contact. It complements that contact so much and I have such light eyes so much. I love it. Yes, I'm all about the light eyes. Oh God. Right? Grass is always greener. I admit, we all have our wants and desires. We all have our flaws. No, but I don't see my, my um, normal eye color as a flaw. It's not that. But for the showgirl me, for the vein me, yes. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. See that dark? I love that dark. And then I'm gonna spread it upwards.
pull out. Yes, I like that. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to be on stage, so I want it to be a little bit... Hey girl! <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to the next eye part. I'm going to just clean that up a little bit and do that line nicely. Right. A bit more shadow there. Yes. Now blend, 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 blend. all that excess doesn't matter it will go away once I use the foundation to clean it up and strong right we're gonna, I'm gonna do the next eye now and then I'm gonna continue with the eyeliner after that right now it's time for eye aligner we're bringing it up on the corners I guess my eyes tend to go a little bit down. I want it to look up. Cat eye a little bit, I think. girl right and then I'm gonna go under liquid eyeliner my under eyes too Other one. I'm gonna add a little bit more in the corner to make it more pointy, right? Yes, girl. Fill that up. Right. Then now I'm going to get my foundation. I'm going to do that line.
that. Now, I'm going to do the same to the other side, let that dry. You add a little bit, right? I add it on the edges. That's why I like this triangular sponge more than those circle one, those blenders. I like the straight, so I put them at the corner there, then I just place them right there. So you estimate the the length and then you just go up and down till you form that straight line. There you go, see that? And then I just blend it out. Foundation up, it adds to make it look lighter up there. So yes. And I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. Let that try. the foundation dries it's not so white no yes I'm still going to add a bit of black eye pencil at my waterline because it needs to be a little bit more darker I like it to be strong eye look don't you it's nice to do the soft one sometimes but yeah I prefer the strong eye look maybe because I have a strong personality I like to look powerful you know but yet still feminine and soft and yet look deliciously powerful right hashtag deliciously powerful <laughs> so Yes, next up I'm going to curl my lashes and then after that I'm going to put lashes on after I finish my eyes, after I put, after I curl my lashes, mascara, mascara top and bottom, eyelashes on, next cheeks, after cheeks, lips, after lips, the dress that I'm going to wear and then the wig and the feather boa. So that's the whole look, basically. And I'm gonna use two different eye, two different mascaras. Let me tell you why. So the first one that I'm going to use is the um, Bourjois Paris. That one. I really like that one. The other re second reason why I like that one is because of the, see, it has the magnifying mirror. The first reason why I like this one is because it has a very bushy, uh, the brush end is very bushy, you know, and I like that. See, it's very big, it's very bushy, I really like that. No, mm -mm. I'm gonna clean that up. Oh my god, I'm so close to the camera. Yuck. <laughs> my pores you guys are seeing all my pores oh my god now that I've used that and then I'm going to put this L'Oreal telescopic mascara so good 
It lengthens and lengthens and lengthens and I like that. And it really lengthens, you know, I felt like it actually made my lashes look a little bit longer. That's really, really good, right? My bottom lashes are so short and you can hardly see them. I wish it's longer. Hopefully this will help to lengthen it. Can you see? Oh my god, it's really lengthening. It's making them more visual, more visible now. Can you see? Oh wow, I really like this. This was recommended to me by a friend of mine that I used to work with, Ines. Yes, she told me that telescope is good. I said, okay, so I got one. And it worked, girl. Thank you. Yes, girl. I'm gonna do that one next. I'm gonna repeat the same process. So, yes. If you feel there's a sign at the back, halfway through the video I click pause just now and I bring my fan in here it's bloody hot I can't stand the heat it's still summer here in Sydney Australia oh my god it's just it's not like super super hot but the humidity makes the heat unbearable it makes your skin a little bit sticky I hate that I don't like that body odor and sweaty Eey. How many times do I have to shower sometimes, you know, to cool myself down? It's just horrible. Yeah, I'm not a fan of summer. I made it very, very clear in my profile. Like I would screenshot, right, for the day, the weather for the day. Like every hour it would show what is the temperature, right? Like sometimes it would go, like say from 11 o'clock till 6, okay, on the phone screen, right? And I click on the weather and it shows that time and then it shows like 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 33, 33, 34. Oh my god. I would screenshot that and put it in my profile. I was like, fuck this. Fuck this weather. Fucking bullshit. This is too fucking hot. I'm angry today. Don't talk to me. Don't approach me. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. <laughs> yes, I cannot handle the heat. I hate every year. Yes, I cannot. I, my favorite season is winter. Of all time, I love winter. I know so many people don't like winter because it's too cold and they hate the cold. They rather the heat. They rather go to the beach and all that. Yeah, well, I'm happy for you. Not for me. Yeah, I'm dark already anyway, so I don't need to get any darker. So, yeah, I'd like to go to the beach and all that. That's fine. I don't mind going to the beach too. But I like to go to the nudist beach. The only reason is because I do not like tan lines on me. I hate tan lines on me. I wear costumes, right? And sometimes my showgirl costumes are quite revealing, especially when you wear those showgirl bikini and the bustier and the bikini and with the feathers, right? Those Brazilian style. If you have, you go to the beach, like if I were to go out right now and walk around like this, within 10 minutes when I come home, if I go like that, you'll see a very dark and then you'll see this bit here so pale I tan like so quick like nobody's business I absolutely hate that so that's why I always like to go to a nudist beach when you go to a nudist beach you get an even clean one tone tan it looks like you didn't go for a tan you just born this way right so that's why I prefer to um, go to a nudist beach Sometimes I go to the normal beach, right? Especially on a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday when, it's, when everybody goes to work like at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning, right? There's no one there. So I'll go there in the nude. And sometimes I have a date with me and he would rub those thing, those SPF thing on me. 10 minutes on one side, flip me over, 10 minutes on the other side and I'm black ass. Oh my God. Yes. But I don't, I will not go on a freaking hot day like if it's 30 or 31 I don't mind going because I'm gonna be there for like half an hour and I want that's it I want to piss off and go home 
will get under the shade straight away, you know? I'm black enough already, I don't need to get any blacker. So I'll go for as black as I want and then I won't go any blacker than that, you know? See, now I'm trying to use this fluffy brush one to do my bottom lashes, right? It's not as good as the telescopic one. See? No, it's not as good. So the telescopic one is better for lengthening. It's just meant for lengthening. This is brilliant. I never thought it works. You know, I don't believe all this. It's lengthening, it's lengthening. That's why I asked my girlfriend, Ines, right? And she said, yes, it does. It lengthens, girl. Try it. It works. See? She goes like that. See? Oh. So, I trusted her. I got it. Bam. It works, girl. Yeah, see? I'm gonna add a bit more here. Yeah, starlight, shine bright. Yes, girl, it worked. Next, I'm gonna put my lashes on. Just give me a second. Lashes are in. Can you see them? They're gorgeous. I love these lashes. Thank you, Julia, for the lashes. Yeah, so for my cheeks today, I'm going to go with um, that one, that strong one. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's very strong. I love it. Circle it. Subtle. Yes, girl. Right? It works. Hmm, I like that. Let me add a bit more there. Yes, girl. I'm gonna go to the next side. Same thing. Do that line and then circular motion, circular motion. Yes, girl. cheeks I think right yes now it's the lips I'm gonna use this Maybelline this is one of my most favorite lip and so I think I've told you this before this is Urban Decay I can't remember the color anymore and it's so short now so I gotta go to the shop and quickly buy another one before it runs out right before they cannot find what the color is so it's quite expensive too, but it's worth it. Yeah. So now I shall do my lips.
Maybelline. And then the Rimmel Oh My Gloss. This is the other color that I love. It's a nude. Now I'm going to change into my outfit. Just give me a second. Are you ready to see my new look? Ta-da! Yes, girl! Yes, I love this look. It looks fun. Yes, I'm about to host the show tonight in this look. Yes, I'm going to open with a song. I'm going to sing a song. And I'm going to say hello to everyone. And you're going to see my full outfit in a second. I've zoomed in. Okay, now I'm gonna put my jewelry set. I'm gonna do all of it live for you guys to see. I love these, right? Aren't they gorgeous? I got so many colors of them. They're slightly different um, pattern, but they're just as beautiful. So this side of my earlobes is a bit of a shit. <laughs> it just won't that stupid hole. It just won't, won't let me poke through. You know what I mean? Finally, yes, the stupid hole works. <laughs> and then look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? I love this. This is just gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this so much. Yes, look at that. Right, so I'm going to put this. I need to open the little thing first. I'm not going to wear them really low. I'm going to wear them really, really high. Like that. Then it looks good, right? If it's too low, then you, you, you can't really see it. I just want to see the outfit and then this. Look at that. It looks good, right? I love it. Now that's the look. Can you see it? Now I'm gonna have the feather boa and I'm gonna show you the full look. Just give me one second. I'm gonna have to zoom out as far as I can so you can see my whole outfit. And it's all black and white so it matches Yes, strong eyes, light lips, pinky, 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 silver, because it's black and white. So, just give me a second. Can you see me now? Yes. Yes. This is my little black and white dress. And I've got my little other hands. Should I put them on the right? Yeah, I pick up the microphone. So, you know, hey, how's it going? So, that would work, wouldn't it? And then... My boas. I like to roll one over so it doesn't drop down. Roll over, have them up there, and then I'll grab this is my remote, but yeah, I'll grab the microphone and ta da! Hey, you guys, how are you going? Yes, isn't that cool? Yes. Everything's in place. Yes, what do you think of my ensemble today? Yeah, it's just a short dress. It's not really that long, but it looks good, doesn't it? Thank you so much for watching. I have enjoyed myself so much making this video. I love dressing up for the camera. I love dressing up, showing you my little outfits that I get to wear for my shows. And soon you're going to see more, more, more amazing outfits. I have outfits that I've won competitions in. I have outfits that I have won awards for. I'm so overwhelmed and touched until this very day. I still am feeling so grateful, so appreciative that I could even win. I never thought in a million years that I would win. But 
that was a wonderful recognition that I will never forget for the rest of my life you know so I hope you guys have enjoyed my video so don't forget to give me a thumbs up please and also um, subscribe to my channel if you are interested to see more of what I have to share with you and also you can share my videos if you like and also I hope you have learned something from my little tips, my little rant just now about the showgirls and the costumes. So you, you new showgirls, learn that. You don't show it, you wait till you are on stage. Bang! Wow, you look great. You know what I mean? Like that. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. In the meantime, be kind to one another. Life is too short to be mean all the time. People are just so mean these days. So we have to learn to be nice to each other. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.